greetings everyone and welcome to lesson 37 this video will be the final video on option spreads and it will be by far the most complicated video on option spreads but if you have seen all our videos on option spreads and this video i can promise you this that after this video you will be able to create your own spreads and come out of the trade with maximum profit and cost to cost in the worst case or in a very very minimum losses you will learn how to hedge how to do arbitrage and how to protect your capital in all the scenarios so in today's video we are basically going to talk about option spreads that is box spread and iron counter so let's start with box spread now box spread is basically an arbitrage strategy that means you take advantage of the difference in premium of the call and put of the similar strike. Now remember arbitrage is a concept that is used to basically catch price difference between two different platforms for the same underlying. We will talk about arbitrage in a separate video where you will understand what exactly is the meaning of arbitrage. But right now what arbitrage basically means is a system where you make 100% assured risk free return on your principal. So that means if you opt box spread there are 100% chances that you will make money in the market although the amount will be very very less but the probability of winning is 100%. Let's talk about what is box spread. So box spread is bull spread and bear spread combined. So when you combine bull spread along with the bear spread, the combination is called as box spread. So it box spread as the name suggests is having four strikes, four corners of a box, similarly four strikes and it basically is an arbitrage system where you make risk free profit and the profit would be the difference between two strikes k2 and k1 irrespective of the market condition whether the market goes up or down you're least bothered and you're sure shot making money in this particular concept so as said it is an arbitrage system to eat premium difference between call and put of the same strike there are two types of box spread long box spread and short box spread long box spread is basically buy k1 call and short k2 call and buy k2 put and short k1 call the reverse is short box spread so buy k2 call short k1 call buy k1 put and short k2 put so let's understand long box spread and short box spread one by one let's start with long box spread as the name suggests you buy k1 call plus short k1 put and short k2 call plus buy k2 put so this setup in itself is called as bull spread and this setup is bear spread you're basically mixing both of them to come up with a box spread so to give you an example consider an x stock whose current market price is say 100 so i have say 100 call and 100 put same strike k1 and 105 call and 105 put same strike k2 now say 100 call is available at 5 rupees and 105 call is available at 4 rupees now usually theoretically we say that at the money call and put will have same value but it is never the case in most of the cases call and put have a difference in the values be it in atm itm and otm and box spread is all about catching the price difference between these strikes itself now if i have to give you a real example say let us go to nsc india website say i have kotak bank and the current market price is 1350 now if i go to the derivatives that is option chain now kotak bank current market price is 1350 that means 1350 call and put theoretically should have same value but practically it is never the case so if i go and check 1350 call the call value is at 25 rupees and the put value is somewhere in the range of 27 to 30 now this has it is because of the different iv so if you see the iv of call is just 35 right in the range of 35 to 40 whereas the iv of the put is in the range of 40s so usually calls and puts have different ivs and because of which the theoretical value of call and put for the similar strikes is never the same and since we have different different premium for the same strike 
देर लाइज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू आर्बिट्राज हायर द डिफरेंस हायर द प्रॉफिट यू विल गेट सो कमिंग बैक टू अवर थेरेटिकल एग्जाम्पल से हंड्रेड पुट इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइव इज एट से सिक्स रुपीज एंड वन जीरो फाइव पुट इज इन द मनी सो इट विल हैव फाइव रुपीज एज इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू एंड थ्री रुपीज एज एक्सट्रेंसिक वैल्यू so here extrinsic value is 4 but i am considering here 3 because we know theoretically both the in in call and put it won't be the same so i'll just write it here as 8 let us say so now we have different different prices and now there is an opportunity to do arbitrage how do you do it is very simple we buy the call and we short the put of the same strike and then we short another call and we buy a put of the similar strike now this is a box and hence called as a box spread now let us see various cases and how it will give you profits so as said we have bought 100 call at 5 rupees premium short 105 call at 4 rupees short 100 put at 6 rupees and bought 105 put at 8 rupees now from 100 if the stock let us say goes to 1110 then this 100 call from 5 would go to 10 this 4 would become 5 on the day of expiry this put would become 0 and 105 put will also become 0 so let us look at what is the net profit or loss that we will get 5 becoming 10 giving you a profit of 5 rupees this 4 becoming 5 is giving you a loss of 1 rupees because you sold at 4 and you are buying back at 5 100 put that you have sold at 6 is becoming 0 giving you a profit of Six rupees and eight becoming zero, giving you a loss of eight rupees because you bought at eight and selling at zero. So net to net you make five plus six eleven rupees minus one minus eight nine. So net to net you're making two rupees profit. So doesn't matter how much ever the market goes in your favor, net to net two is your fixed profit. Similarly, instead of one one zero, if the stock goes to say one two zero, then hundred call would become twenty, one not five call would become fifteen, and the other puts would become zero and zero. So here you will make fifteen rupees. Here you will be losing eleven rupees. Here you will be making six rupees, and here you will be losing eight rupees. So again, fifteen plus six is twenty-one minus nineteen is plus two. Fixed assured short short returns again. So similarly, even if the market goes down, it doesn't matter. You will still make money. So let me explain you that also. Say instead of stock going up, it goes down to say eighty. Then this five would become zero. Hundred and five call would also become zero. Hundred put would become twenty because from hundred it is going down to eighty. And one not five put would become twenty five because the difference between eighty and one not five is twenty five. So. Here you made a loss of five rupees. You made a profit of four rupees. Here you have made a loss of fourteen rupees, and here you are making a profit of seventeen rupees. So again, net to net, you are in the two rupees profit. Even if it goes down to say seventy, nothing much would change. Zero, zero, thirty, and thirty-five. So minus five plus four minus twenty-four and plus twenty-seven. So net to net again two rupees profit. So you see. now doesn't matter in whichever direction the market goes you make assured sure shot risk free profits on your investment and that is called as an arbitrage opportunity be very careful while doing these trade setups make sure that net to net you are having more premiums received than the premiums that you are giving out else you will make losses now what do i mean by that it means instead of buying 100 call If you short hundred call instead of selling one not five call, if you buy one not five call, if you take a cycle reverse, then plus two will become minus two in all the condition. That means you will have short short loss. Doesn't matter in which direction the market goes into. So be very careful while choosing the strikes. Do the payoff calculations on your own first using the, these calculations. And if, on papers, if it is giving you profits in all the conditions. in reality also it will 100% give you profits so the payoff graph of this strategy looks something like this so you see there is one straight line that is profits doesn't matter where the market is you are getting a sure shot profit this is above the zero line these dotted lines are the mixture of bull call spread and bear call bear put spread so you have bull call spread that goes like this bear put spread that goes like this if you mix both of them you get an assured profit that is arbitrage similarly instead of doing long box spread you can do short box spread also which looks exactly the same let me explain you that as well consider another stock y whose current market price is 200 
now it has a different kind of price difference between the premium say 200 call is available at 10 rupees 210 call which is out of the money is available at say 7 rupees now 200 put is available at say 8 rupees and 210 put is available at say 19 rupees notice here put is available at a lesser price compared to call in the previous example put was available at a higher price than the call so since put price is lesser than the call price we do short box spread now what do you mean by short box spread that means you sell the lesser strike call and you buy the lesser strike put and you buy 210 call and you short 210 put exactly the reverse so the concept is exactly the reverse um, let us see how much profit or loss we make in this condition so i'll just write down so you short 200 call you buy 210 call you buy 200 put and you short 210 put the premiums are 10 7 8 and 19 as it as said now say from 200 the stock goes to 220 so the premiums on the day of expiry would be 20 10 zero and zero so you are making a loss of 10 rupees here you are making a profit of 3 rupees here you are losing 8 rupees and here you are winning 19 rupees so net to net you are winning 4 rupees even if the stock from 220 goes to say 230 nothing much would change this would become 30 20 0 and 0 so minus 20 plus 13 minus 8 plus 19 again net to net 4 rupees profit similarly even if the market goes down to say 180 you would still end up winning because this time calls would become zero and put would become 20 and 30 so you are basically making 10 rupees losing 7 rupees making 12 rupees and losing 11 rupees so net to net again you are making 4 rupees you can do the calculations on your own also so what you understand is that when you carefully choose the strikes and the spreads you sure shot make profits so again the short box spread will also have the same payoff graph. The payoff graph looks something like this. So isn't this an amazing option spread where you get assured risk-free short short profits on your investment. Now here you might ask me if that is the case then why not everyone is doing this why not everyone is preferring box spread why do people do diagonal iron condor butterfly straddle strangle or why do even people buy naked call and put why do people invest in equity futures and everywhere if this is a sure shot way of assured risk-free rate of return now the answer is very simple here we have around four strikes involved where we have two option buy and two option writing so approximately around more than 2 lakh rupees is involved to actually perform such strategy and after performing we have to wait till the month end right now because of the uh, SEBI rules the 2 lakh premium might go down to even 1 lakh so even in 1 lakh rupees you are able to do an option spread but here the thing is that you will have to wait till the month end and the difference is K2 minus K1 that means your profit is hardly one to two percent on your principal that's it so anyone who is happy with one to two percent return on their principal will prefer arbitrage but most of the traders are not satisfied with one or two percent returns per month because of which they end up experimenting with lots of other strategies and end up losing but if you're smart enough to understand that there are some days where call and put have huge difference in their strike prices and if you want to utilize that box spread is one of the best tool to make money in the market moving ahead the next strategy that we would discuss is condor now condor is basically a modification in butterfly here the only difference is that in butterfly we have two similar strikes in the middle but in condor we have two different strikes so in total we have four strikes in iron condor long condor is useful when the market is expected to be range bound when you're expecting the market to be range bound just like long butterfly long butterfly works when the market is range bound similarly long condor also works when the market is range bound and short condor is use useful when the market is highly volatile just like short butterfly short butterfly is useful when the market is highly volatile similarly short condor so condor is basically a modification of butterfly itself let me explain you what do i mean for example if i have to talk about butterfly suppose there is an x stock whose current market price is 100 for butterfly there are two types of butterfly i can buy 100 call 
into two lots i can short 1110 call one lot and i can short 90 call into one lot so this is a butterfly there is another butterfly that is short 100 call into two and buy 1110 call into one and buy 90 call into one so this is a butterfly where the middle strike is same so essentially you have three strikes k1 k2 and k3 but condor has four strikes instead of three that means the upper strike that is 1110 call remains constant lower strike also remains constant the middle one this middle one is basically there are two lots of 100 call instead of that we have two different strikes say you buy 105 call as well as you buy 100 call so the payoff graph also would be almost similar to butterfly but with a slight modification of course and similarly say instead of shorting two calls you short two different strikes so short say 100 call short 105 call buy 1110 call and buy 90 call so you have two different strikes in the middle and that is condor the payoff graph and everything is same let me explain you that also suppose say there is an x stock whose current market price is again 100 and i have say 105 call 100 call 90 call and 1110 call let us say 100 call is at 4, 90 call is at 12, 105 call is at 3 and 1110 call is at say 2 rupees. Now if the stock from 100 goes to say 120 then 110 call would become say 10, 105 call would become 15, 100 call would become 20 and 90 call would become 30. As said we buy the middle calls and we short upper call and we short the lower call. So here 2 becoming 10 giving you a loss of 8 rupees, 3 becoming 15 giving you a profit of 12 rupees. 4 becoming 20 giving you a profit of 16 rupees 12 becoming 30 giving you a loss of 18 rupees so net to net you're making 2 rupees profit similarly even if the stock goes to say 130 nothing much would change 20 25 30 and 35 the calculation would still remain same minus 18 plus 22 plus 26 and minus 28 so net to net again same 2 rupees profit so if the market goes down also say if the market goes from 100 to say 80 then this 2 3 4 and 12 would become 0 0 0 0 because it's very obvious that if the stock goes down all the calls on the day of expiry would become zero so you make a profit of two rupees make a loss of three rupees make a loss of four rupees and make a profit of 12 rupees net to net you're making a profit of seven rupees if the market is highly going down doesn't matter if it goes to 80 70 60 if the market goes down everything would be zero and you will make profit but if the market stays range bound say it stays at 100 itself then you will have a small loss see the stock stays at 100 itself then 110 call would become 0 105 call would become 0 100 call would become 0 and 90 call would stay at 10 on the day of expiry then you will have a profit of 2 rupees here a loss of 3 rupees a loss of 4 rupees and a profit of 2 rupees so net to net you will lose 7 rupees so your losses are limited to 7 rupees however if the market goes up or down you will have minimum losses but if the market aggressively goes up or down you will have a limited profit of 2 rupees on the upside and 7 rupees on the downside now upside and downside here do not have balance as butterfly because here we have two different strike prices right now instead of buying the middle strike if you short the middle strike and if you buy the above and below strike the graph would be exactly reversed that means if the stock stays flat you will have a profit of 7 rupees and if the stock goes up or down you will have a loss of minus 2 and minus 7 respectively so this is how condor varies from butterfly so graph is almost same as butterfly the payoff graph this is a long condor where basically i have sold two strikes that is 100 and 100 and 105 and you have taken 110 and say 90 i have taken 95 here that is why the graph looks same but if you take 90 the graph becomes uneven short contrast spread where you get limited profit if the market goes up or down and limited loss if the market stays flat almost similar to butterfly these were the spreads in today's video i hope you guys have understood what is box spread and condor with this we finish our video lessons on spreads these were the only videos that we had to speak on the spreads i hope you will now be eligible or capable enough to make your own spreads and learn arbitrage opportunity and 
make risk free profit in the next lesson using options we are also going to talk about market indicators market indicators in the sense we are going to talk about put call ratio what pcr has to say in which direction the market will go about open interest that is oi and volatility vix we'll talk about all these three market indicators and using them how to forecast in which direction the market is going to go we'll talk about all of this in our upcoming video thank you so much for watching this video spread knowledge cause it's free and if you like our video do like subscribe and share it with your